Spotify. Uh, um, I don't know if I'm going to put this video up on anywhere. Uh, I'm basically making it for myself. Um, to get a preview of everything I've put in for the past six years. If you've been following me since uh, 2009, or even before that, you know that I've been trying to lose weight. I mean, uh, I weighed 350 pounds at first. I started off with walking. I didn't. I didn't know where, where to go. Honestly, um, I think the first thing I did was actually make an audition tape for The Biggest Loser, but I never sent it in. I wish I still had it, but I ended up deleting it out of you know depression and all that shit. But anyway, I uh, started walking. Just going for like a 20 to 30 minute walk and then that's it and then lessening my portions with eating I did that for about eight months and then I, I, just doing that you know staying active was walking as well as lessening my portions I lost 40 pounds I went from 350 to 310 I then went to the gym about three times a week I would do cardio just cardio. Either a treadmill or the elliptical machine. And I would just do as much as I can on the treadmill. It would basically just be power walking. I wouldn't I couldn't run back then. I uh, would do power walking and then on the elliptical I'd just I'd basically go as fast as I could in a thirty minute span and then go home. And in nighttime, five times a week I would do a ten minute workout. And I made it up myself. One night I would do anything that revolved arms, anything that revolved chest, anything that revolved legs, uh, core, and I would just pick, research different exercises and do those for 10 minutes. That's it, just 10 minutes. And in that process, I lost another 10 pounds, give or take, until a friend of mine, uh, my friend Don, he suggested I do P90X. So I used the money I had, saved up, got P90X, and I did P90X for a while. Three and a half rounds to be exact. And if anybody knows P90X is 90 days of a workout, extreme workout plan. And in those three and a half rounds, I lost another 40 pounds, bringing my total weight loss, let's say, yeah, I reckon around 80, 90 pounds total. And then did Insanity. I lost about a couple pounds on that one. And then combined Insanity and P90X, eventually I, I lost over, not, not over, but just exactly 100 pounds. And through all that that I mentioned. And then in 2013, I hit a plateau. And it was, I hit a few plateaus before that as well, but I hit my longest plateau in 2013. I stayed at 250 pounds for... A little over two years and it was a very frustrating time for me trying to find something to to break that plateau what I did was I saw he's now my buddy now um my friend John he uh, I found out how he lost his weight his his uh, remaining weight was through intermittent fasting macronutrient cycling and uh, fastest strength training. Well, he lost his remaining weight and I contacted him. He gave me a few tips to start and I started doing in now 2000, late 2014, I think I started doing intermittent fasting and macronutrient cycling, fastest strength training. Yeah. I got the hiccup, sorry. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, then I basically broke the plateau very slowly. Uh, my weight loss now has been just very, very, very staggering and slow, but I've been continuing to lose weight. Total now, I've lost 137 pounds, and it's the beginning of 2016. My lowest weight now is 213 pounds. I'm making this video because, you know, lately I've just been, I've just been very down, 
um, about my loose skin. I think the way for me to learn how to love my body now before any other changes happen in my life, whether it be cutting more fat or bulking up more muscle like I really want to do, as well as surgery may, may be my future. Um, I want to learn to love the body I'm in now before anything else happens. And it's a really big process that I know I need to do now. I think what I need to do is, I guess, just show off my weight loss. Um, if I do plan to put this video up, I'll edit it. I'll take the time to edit it. And here is a picture uh, here. The very first picture I took in 2011. Uh, 2011 is when I really started my weight loss. I started in 2009, but I had really big ups and downs in my health. And I didn't really get it. Be able, I wasn't able to start until 2011. I got to pray for my, <laughs> my form. Sorry. Uh, so... Let's get to it now. So hopefully you can see. See. So this is the result of losing 137 pounds. Uh, most of my loose skin is in my stomach and my chest because I have all this skin hanging off me. My waist is really small. I only am a size 38, 36, but I still wear 40 pants, size 40, because of the loose skin and the loose skin around my thighs as well. So this is everything I've lost so far. And yeah, this is what I look like now. Uh, I'm a little bloated because I just, you know, got done eating. I usually fast, but this is what I'm left with now. It's just a bunch of skin. All right, so this is what I have to live with every day, but I know I have to do it anyway before I even chose to lose weight. Um. It's hard to deal with sometimes, um, to look in your, yourself in the mirror and you have this image in your head of what you wanted to look like before you started losing weight and you look nothing like it. Um, you put in all that hard work and you were left looking like you just melted. I mean, yeah, this is what I'm left with and it's difficult to deal with, but like I said, I gotta learn to love it, man. It's just like a battle scar, you know? This is what the result of massive weight losses is, is sagging chest and sagging stomach here, loose skin on the arms and just, you know, all that. So, anyway, what are my plans for the future? Well, to learn to love the body I'm in now. To hopefully bulk. I really want to bulk. I been trying to cut fat for so long that I've kind of gotten addicted to it and obsessed with it and I'm just tired so, you know six years trying to lose fat and I just uh, I'm so tired of having to restrict my calories and count this worrying about tons of cardio and even though I still love my fastest strength training and everything I'm I'm always stressing about eating too much and I'm just tired of it. So I'm hoping to, in a month from now, start a bulk for about four to six months. And then go back to a cutting regimen just to give my body a rest and give my, my mind a break. Uh, do I hope to have surgery someday? Yeah, I, I really do. I know I'll need it. But before that ever happens, I want to love the body I'm in now, you know? Because I want to learn that there's nothing wrong with the body I'm in now. Uh, sometimes I do feel really un unattractive. Uh, I feel ugly. You know, sometimes it does make me cry. But, you know, I've been learning to get over it. So this is my body. And I'm going to learn to love it, okay?
and I'm actually just not telling anybody that I'm telling myself that because I myself needs to learn it. So do you know it's gonna be okay though? Alright. So I am the mulatto beast and I do have a body that looks like just melted. <laughs> but I do have good muscle tone, right? Right? I have such bad cramps in my arm. Alright, I just had to work out today back and bicep, yeah. With cardio. So I mean it looks good but you know, I'll get used to it eventually. This is hard work, man. I need to screen capture this. Okay. Alright, guys. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Or, <laughs> I can't really say chicken grease anymore because I don't bathe in chicken oil anymore. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. My titties are touching the table. It's kind of cold. Alright, goodbye, everybody. I love y'all.